hi guys welcome back to my channel it's jj and you're watching another episode of jj i feel weird having daddy <laughs> <laughs> sitting next to me his name is robin yeah i don't think i ever mentioned your name i always say daddy all the time so today it has taken me four years since 2018 to get this human being to sit next to me and do a video with me it's been over it's not even years. next to you it's in front of the camera in front of my eye next to me <laughs> so we decided to do the husband tag and i've been asking this man jesus christ can we do the husband tag and he's always like i'm the one who's always taking the videos for you or i'm driving yeah. or i'm always driving or i'm the one filming while she's driving well so many excuses anyway <laughs> anyway we are going to do we have five questions each we have not seen it, uh, each other's questions so we're gonna do the questions and i guess that helps you to get to know my husband better no no you, you don't think no. so okay these questions are not about knowing me it's not okay and i'm going first you're going first i'm going first this is my channel I'm going first. Oh, wow, I'm wow. a guest, right? Wow. Okay, he's okay. the guest. He's going first. All right. What's something you used to hate that now you think is cool? Jesus Christ. Something I used to hate and I think right now is cool. <laughs> I wouldn't say hate because hate is a very strong word. Something that you couldn't stand. Okay, well, I don't think stand, but I can say something I could never see myself with before it happened to me was getting married to a white guy. It's not hate, but I never saw myself getting married. Even when I dated before, I never did. My friends can tell you, they were the ones who used to date white people. I never did. And here I am with one in my house. You? <laughs> I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm not even gonna say anything. But it's the truth though. <laughs> okay, so something that I used to hate that now I think is cool are baby pictures. Because mm -hmm. every person that walks around with those baby pictures expects you to look at them and say how great they are. Wow. And if you're so not cute. a parent, yeah. if you're not in a child's life, mm -hmm. you don't understand. You don't get it. Yeah, that's true. So as a single person, mm -hmm. as a person without children, you would look at those pictures and go, oh, they're so cute. <sighs> Yeah, and that's it. We don't want to see those. We're just, <laughs> why do I want to see those? Now? What about now? Now? Those you pictures are my kids, and they're, they're important that people <laughs> see those and see how proud I am of my kids. Okay, so I feel anything parenthood, most single people, or, or not single, most people who are not parent will not understand. More, being my one thing, I mean, being one of the people who never used to understand those things, like, People would always, like, I never, like, mm, judged parents, but I never got so excited about kids. You didn't care yeah. whether they had baby pictures or not. <laughs> I didn't care about baby pictures. I just would say, well, they're so cute, and I would move on with life. Now you look at a baby picture, and you look at what you see around the child, what the child's no. doing, and you're, you're looking at it, and you're going, wow, my son just did that. Well, or even you're that. ready to see this out of this child because they're doing this. Not even that. Like, I have so many pictures that are not great on my phone, but because there's one of my children in them, I don't want to delete them. <laughs> <laughs> I want them to stay. So I did not think about that. That is not where, what I thought. So you've asked me two questions back to back. No, that was... That was one? Okay, 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 okay. One. Okay, my question. See, he's going deep. For me, I was thinking things about... Now that you say that, I'm even ashamed to say my question. My first question is, which food do I like? <laughs> McDonald's hamburgers. Ah. <laughs> okay, Never chicken. No, she likes mm -hmm. ugali. Yes. Ugali and kale. Yes. She would eat it every day. Yeah. And she wouldn't put meat in it. She would eat it every day. Yeah. She'd make the kids eat it every day. Yeah. And they're only going to tolerate so much before they're like, no. Nope. <sighs> no. Yeah, because they have options. I ate it every single day because I didn't have other ones growing up. That's all we ate. That's the advantage of the parents <laughs> being 
<laughs> active in the child's life. They get options on, or not options, they get experiences that, that show them that there are options. Yeah. Like what? Like they see me eat something, then they want to try it. Whereas oh, yeah, yeah. If I didn't yeah, eat it, they yeah. wouldn't have the option of even trying. Yeah. What I like about the, the, us is the fact that we make Kenyan food, he makes their food, and kids, I feel like they're going to go eating both kinds. They of just food. pick out of everybody's plate. Yes, 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 yes. Pick so I feel like they will. And your favorite food is chicken. This man can eat chicken for breakfast, chicken for dinner, and chicken for. And not chicken with any Konama Futa. He just wanna eat chicken breast. Skinless, baked with a little bit of butter. Yeah. Dash of salt. God almighty, when pepper. I first moved to when I first moved in with him, I was like, okay, here I am. I'm not even used to this. I'm used to eating uh red meat uh, fried with onions. He doesn't eat onions. We don't fry. Oh, Jesus Christ. We don't fry. Frying's bad. Y'all, Yo, if you're trying to get married to a white man, there you go. We don't eat fried. We don't eat a lot of red meat because red meat's icky. Makes you smell icky. I don't smell icky. <laughs> <laughs> Onions make you smell icky. It depends on individuals. It's garlic. Garlic makes people smell icky, not the red onion or white onion. Garlic is good for you. It's good for you, but people smell icky when they eat garlic. Well, well, let's yeah. not go deep on that. Anyway. <laughs> next question um next question mm. what's something about you that people would be surprised to know about me about you that i'm a i don't think they will be surprised to know but i think i am a people pleaser do you think so no they wouldn't be surprised to know that okay so i can answer that for you what people be surprised to know is yeah you can shoot a gun you can shoot a gun. You've been trained to shoot guns. She knows hand-to-hand -hand combat. Yeah, but I get some She knows she's know. trained in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Most yeah. people would not expect that from you. Yeah, yeah. I see that. I see even sometimes when um, on my Insta, Insta stories, when people see me in, in uniform, they always say that, like, what do you do? What, what do you do, do for a living? What is your job? What do you yeah, do? Yeah, because I always try to separate my home life and my work life completely i just try once i walk out of those walls i leave that there so the funny thing behind that is is we know something ever happens that mommy can handle it there's nothing that mommy's not gonna be able to handle because if she had to get a gun she could shoot it and if she has to take somebody down unarmed she's gonna break their arms off Mommy can handle it. Yeah, she can, but that's just for work. No, that, 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 if that, it happened in public, you can handle. Yeah, it. if it happens, yeah, if somebody tried to snatch court. one of the boys, she'd break his arms, break his legs. Okay, he is going deep. So, what is something that people would be surprised to know about you? Um, I used to be a paid entertainer. <laughs> What do you mean by that? <laughs> Sounds so weird. <laughs> a paid entertainer. When you said that, the picture that I'm seeing, God, I'm seeing it. Let me tell you Why what. Why are you going no. there with this? <laughs> you just that, went yeah, that's what I weird. went. I went all weird in my mind. <laughs> I just went. I, okay, so I walked on stilts. I had a hand sewn costume that I put together that lit up. I was seven and a half feet tall. I, I got paid I, 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 to so walk around and be a photo opportunity. I know, I know that. But then when you say that, <laughs> the picture that came to my mind. <laughs> like people at work have no clue when I say, oh yeah, I used to work at a club. They have no clue what I used to do. And I, I couldn't even explain it to people. <sighs> That's so funny. Like you guys, <laughs> what I just seen in my mind. <laughs> She had to go there with it. She had to go. But the way you said it, it's the way you said it. Okay. What was your first impression of me? <laughs> See, my question is so easy. The first my impression. My very first impression when we first met. Met, yeah. Was there is no way that this is the woman I'm talking to. Why? There's no way. Why? Because. What, like, what were you expecting? I expected somebody a lot less beautiful, 
and a lot less articulated. Oh yeah? Yeah. Wow. Somebody who was a little more closed off, closed in. Yeah. More, what's the word I'm looking for? Homely looking. Uh, yes, I went all out when I went to, when I first came to Florida. I remember even um, at the airport when we got off the plane, uh, it's, I can't remember whether that was a man or it was a man and he was like, oh, I'm sure by the time you're out of the airport, you wanna, you, you might wanna loosen up the clothes, how I had dressed. <laughs> I was, I had gone there high class, but I will say this though, I've realized and most Kenyans would support me on this. I think we go all out when we go, we dress, we dress, we dress, we dress. And, and then these guys just, he can just walk out in flip-flops and, 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 and uh, what is it called? But PJs and goes to taskies like that, their taskies and, and no, no, I'm saying, I'm not saying you, I'm saying people here. Oh yes, people In here. general, I'm not saying you. You will find that they, it doesn't like both. But for me, first impression, wow, that was really that. I didn't know that. Yeah, I. She was really pretty, and I did. I have flowers that time. Was it the yes, next you time? did. No, you had flowers at the airport. Flower, I had flowers, and when I saw her, I was like, Am, "Is this the person I'm giving these flowers to? Is this who I'm talking to?" Yeah, it was me. I was really shocked. Wow, seven years down the line, we are always <laughs> discovering something new. No, eight years now. Surprise. Wow, thank you. Thank you, Sage. Okay. My first impression was of you. Yeah. You were so... Now, sis, now this is the otherwise. I mean, this is the opposite. Because for me, on the phone, you were so open, especially texting men. You would write emails on my text. Not a, it's not an email, but it's as long as an email. Like you were so on the phone, you were a man of like I feel like now when we met, I did more the talking and you just listened. Actually, he's a listener. I think that's what it is. In person, I think that's what happened. And then I was like, wow. I was taken aback. And then he, as you can see, his eyes. I didn't expect that. So there were some features I saw that I didn't see on your voice when you spoke on the phone. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. Uh, ah, this is good. Question, I get to know question. some few things about this man. <clears throat> I get to see him in some weird costume in my mind. <laughs> She's already seen me in a costume. She knows. Yeah, I know. She's seen me dressed up. She knows what I oh, did. Oh, I seen. We got. I seen you walk around. She's at, seen me at some of the around, places I was yeah. paid, paid to be. Yeah. Uh, let me see. If our life was a reality TV show, a mm. reality YouTube show, mm. what would it be called? The Wagners. That's it? What would it be called? That's it, The Wagners. Probably called something like, if my head wasn't attached, I'd probably lose that too. See, he's a weirdo. He's so weird. We're always running. We are nonstop running. We're at work, we're working doubles, we're running home. What are we eating? Oh, we're not gonna eat tonight, we'll eat tomorrow. Yeah. Busy, busy, busy. Make me a sandwich for tomorrow because I'm working a double. We come home, oh, the kids are doing something. So, uh, what, 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 what would we call it again? If my head wasn't attached, I would lose that too. Yo, this is, this is my real life right here. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 That's the truth. It would be like just the Wagner's. For me, I'm like, the Wagner's family, that's beautiful. That, that's us. And then she comes home. Why is Nate at the top of the closet? Mm. Why is he on the top shelf? I don't know, dear. I'm watching Dave, and Dave isn't here with me, and we're watching TV. <laughs> Why is Dave in the toilet? I don't know, because that's what he does. He plays in the toilet. So is that why the head is not attached to the body? Yeah, if it wasn't attached, we'd lose that, too. Oh, just... my God. I am just going to go with that. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. I think we just talked about these favorite features. It, it, it could go hand in hand with what we just talked, because the third one was favorite features about each other. Similar, yeah, our first impressions. Yeah, it, it goes uh, along with the first uh, impressions. So I'll go to number four. When did we first, I mean, when when did we first meet in person? 
the date no you can say the 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 the, the period the period i think it was christmas when we first met in person what what christmas was that 2015 no. or was it 2014? 2014 2014 yeah 2014 christmas, christmas when and you then, came to florida mm. and you went we went around we have a three mile lake yeah so we lived so you picked me up to the airport when yeah when, we went the next night to the lake didn't yes, you? yes 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 we did it was we went beautiful. to the lake and they had decorated and these people spend millions of dollars mm. on decorations and we we went around the lake and she was wearing a t-shirt shorts and sandals in december like a what was that a week a week and a half before christmas mm -hmm. and she was like it is so cold in seattle it was so cold was here so when cold i left seattle. here and i'm walking around it, I, in summer wear by the way that was my determiner that time was my determiner that i was the one who was moving <laughs> to florida remember and then we went to the beach yeah oh yeah we went to Clear water. I think we went to clear water yeah. that time. Mm -hmm. We went to clear water. So she was in the water in Florida at Christmas. I loved it because the beaches there are like Mombasa. They they, they have beautiful beaches like Mombasa, blue water, not like blue yeah. water, a, a block of baby soft white clean yeah. sand because Florida cleans their sand. Yeah. Yeah. That was beautiful, man. It just feels like just yesterday. You know? Mm. Time goes by so fast, and then we went. Uh, that 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 we went to your brother's on the twenty fourth, and we went to your mom's, uh, to your dad mom's house on. She got introduced Christmas. to everybody. Yeah, everybody. introduced me to everybody the first time I went down there. Then they were so welcoming, all of them. And by the way, his dad and I we share the birthday, so we we click. <laughs> his dad and I we share the we, we was born the same day, tenth of April. All right, uh, yeah, that's true. That's true, we met in 2014. It's your turn. Um, what haircut of mine has been your favorite? Of course, bald. <laughs> I, I never knew that I would be so impressed with men without hair. I love my man without hair now. He is cut. Yep, there he goes. That's what I love. What's your favorite? Like of you, of you. Oh, of me. I'll yeah. say of you. Uh -huh. Of me. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm really liking this. I'm yeah. really digging this. Yeah. He's always had long hair. By I've the always way. had long hair. Yeah. He's always Down had my long waist. hair. And then yeah. And then uh, I, I think went in the shower and, and cut it down to my shoulders. And then when and I, you were surprised. Yeah. And then you started saying, "Why don't you just cut yeah. it off? Cut yeah. it all off." Yeah, because he's like, when you start seeing somebody cutting it off, you're just like, okay, it's about time to let the hair go. <laughs> yeah, he cut it off all of it. What about me? Mine for you mm -hmm. was when you cut it short and had it blonde. Yeah. He's been that trying to so, go back. So, what's the word I'm looking for? So chick. So. Yeah. I feel like that's, that's a signature. I don't know what the word I want to use is. Yeah. I mean, it's so not hip because mm -hmm. that's that's an old term that people don't use anymore. Mm -hmm. It was so. I guess it was on point. It was There's on nothing point. you couldn't. No way you couldn't dress that it didn't work. Oh. And you didn't have to do anything to it. Yeah. I guess we are going back to blonde, to short hair blonde. He used to cover my hair, by the way. We used to go. He used to do a good job with it. We used to we started we started off, it took forever, but eventually we got there. Eventually we got it. We figured it out. We figured it out. And he used to do that for me. I might be going back then to that. Wow. What is your aha moment for you throughout these eight years we've been together? Any throughout the and that makes my five questions mm, my aha moment mm -hmm. i got three okay three mm -hmm. so when you said let's have kids oh, oh yeah you was not when you don't expect it you don't expect it mm. let's have kids mm -hmm. and then the next aha moment was i remember christmas night mm -hmm running home from the hospital while she's there 
because I hadn't been home in like two or three days. Ah, you could have left me emotional. And when we had Nate, what, just before you had Nate, and I oh, remember mm -hmm. it was what was the night before Christmas, but. Mm. I remember running home and I'm thinking, I've got to find some food, I've got to get a shower, and I'm going to get back real fast. Because mm -hmm. we didn't have help. We, it was we, just, yeah, the, two just the two of us. Mm -hmm. And there was nobody in the hospital that could be there with her while I was gone. So I remember driving home really fast, mm -hmm. and I kept thinking, I'm going to get pulled, I'm going to get pulled, but didn't see any police. Mm -hmm. And on the way back, I remembered I had taken a shower and mm -hmm. changed clothes, and I hadn't gotten anything to eat. And I pulled up at a McDonald's drive through because it was the only thing open. Mm -hmm. It in was, my aha moment, I said, I guess this is what it's like to have kids. This is what it's like to have kids. Mm -hmm. Always on the run. Like, it, yeah, everything you plan is going to go sideways. Yeah, because we had, I had And you're going to end book. up in the most unexpected places. I had a book of, of, my, of my birth, whatever, how the process was supposed to go. I had wrote down everything. Everything was supposed to be perfect. I was going to have this beautiful birth journey. Never, ever, nothing happened. First of all, I was past due for two weeks. Yep. Nate wasn't refused. coming. Yeah, he had, he had refused completely. I, I also feel like uh, my aha moment. Thank you so much, babe. Thank you. Thank you for being there with me the whole time. Because we didn't have anyone. It was just the two of us. And so cold outside. Yeah, it was winter. It was it was snowy. And I, I was I was I don't like talking about especially Nate's but because that was the hardest for us. This one we had mom babe, we had mom with us. So it was so nothing I didn't feel like anything changed in the house apart from that we had a new child. But with Nate, I remember with Nate, we didn't sit at the sitting room, I think for the first two, three weeks. It was between kitchen and right. bedroom. Kitchen and bedroom. Because we didn't even know how to operate. We didn't know how to operate, man. Where's the directions on this little child? <sighs> that was, it just, it dawned on me that this is what's like to have kids. Mm -hmm. Things are not going to go according to plan. You're going to end up some places you never expected. Mm -hmm. I did not expect to be at a McDonald's the night before Christmas, Christmas. when the whole town was closed down. Just by you. And you felt alone. It was alone, just it was like one of those, how weird is this moment? Yeah. And then I remember in the hospital room, the bed, the couch that I stayed mm. on was right next to the window and it was snowing outside so and the cold was coming down the window and blowing across the couch and I was so cold. I was wrapped up in a winter jacket, long sleeves. if you're watching this, this is what your dad had to go through. <laughs> he had to go through that and also I remember, I think it was the third day, after we had the child on the fourth day, I looked at you because he was a caregiver. He was a caregiver for me and he was a caregiver for the child. So I looked at him and man, he looked bad. He was drowsy. He was just, and then I was like, when was the last time you ate? Huh? I'm like, when was that? He couldn't even remember when was the last time he ate. So Nate, hmm? be nice to your dad or be nice to your dad. Anyway. Uh, no, the third aha moment. Uh -huh was Dave. Oh yeah? Okay. When we put him in the car mm -hmm. to come home, mm -hmm. we, was it, no, it wasn't Dave, it was Nate, we fought with the baby seat. His baby seat and went just fine. We got Dave in the car, he was quiet the whole way home. Mm -hmm. We brought him in, put him right in his crib, and that was the last time we ever sat in a crib. Who, oh, Dave? Dave. <laughs> he refused. He never used a crib. He refused the crib, he refused to breastfeed. He refused he, to sleep inside the, what was that, that sleeper thing we had for him there. He was supposed oh, to yeah. you keep put him, him in, in the middle, in the bed. Yeah. bed. Yeah, he refused that. And then we waste, people waste a lot of money on buying things for children. <laughs> people. Told you. People, people. Who are the people? <laughs> people. Anyway. Now that has even just oh god, this woman they're so emotional because now it just took me back to the our place where we well, that's good because I got another question for you. Okay, I want to say I wanted to say my aha moment. Oh, yeah, that's right. Say your aha moment. Well, I'm not just gonna talk so much about it because it was about the kids. Oh, my my <laughs> aha moment was well, like my, my first aha moment was when we got home with Dave. I mean, when my, I went past because I had a little bit of I think I had postpartum depression. Cause I used to cry so much when the baby was born, I couldn't control the crying. Um, but we and then I say, Oh, we got this at some point. I, I remember being like, 
we got this and then i told him that and he said oh as long as the day is done and the baby is still here with us we are good we're good that was an aha moment for me the next aha moment for me the first aha moment actually was when i met your parents i would say your parents because i was very nervous i've never i've never gone to people's house to be introduced like that so and then it's so different these guys are so different i am asking this man as we are going to his parents house what are we bringing let's go shopping he's like shopping for what we need to do some shopping going. we need to do some shopping for them no we don't uh no we do and then he's like shopping like what like like um uh, groceries and then he's, he, i remember you saying to me how do you know what they want for us it's not how do you know what they want <laughs> we know as much as even if they have what you, you you're buying at least you don't go to your parents empty-handed then he bought flowers we don't take flowers to our parents so my aha moment was that and then i'm worried for him going to my parents house and buying flowers <laughs> <laughs> taking flowers to my mom yeah, well he buys mom flowers now at least now my mom gets it because she's been here and she's seen how it happens but for me for someone who had never seen it i'm like so i felt weird going to your mom's house empty-handed that's that's weird that's a southern i don't want to say it's a southern thing i think it's, it's an a american southern, i think it's a well, it's a southern thing no I mean, people want like, you to come over they want you to come over they're not worried if you're bringing stuff they want you there okay so for us it's not like a worry it's i think it's just culture wise Th that's your culture yes. our culture is that when you go to your parents house that and for example even like when you take your parents out not even i, I take them like when dad would always say that you guys are you free this friday we go out for dinner as much as he's the one who invited us we are the one who are ex in most cases we are the one who are expected to pay it but dad would be so like, no, I'm the one who invited you guys. So I'm the one who's paying. And then we start going back and forth. And I'm like, oh, yeah. Okay, so she's not telling you the truth here. What is? The truth is, I can call my parents and they won't answer. My phone call. She can call and they answer on the first ring. Depends on what relationship you have built with these people. <laughs> it depends. My parents don't answer my phone call. Because you... Maybe all the time when you call, you just don't call to say hi. I call them to say hi. We were calling to invite them to dinner. We were trying to invite them out to dinner. I said, oh, we're going to call mom and dad. I know. And then at some point, it got to a point whereby when he wants something, can you call dad? Can you say this? Can you do this? Can you tell mom this? Can you tell dad this? Can you like that? Like that. I guess that's what happens. I tried to see. I tried to impress. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, my fifth question, right? Fifth and last. Fifth question, right? Yeah. What are some of the things you miss about being single? Going out. That's easy. We do go out. We do go out. We do go but out. We go out with children. Yeah. We, 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 God, so many things. We used to just wake up and be like, it's 4 a.m. in the morning. Let's go for a drive. Remember those days? Let's go for a drive. Let's go to the beach. Let's go to the beach. We Don't. would just go. We would just be in the house. Sometimes it would be so quiet. We wouldn't know there is someone in the house. He's playing video game. I'm on TV doing my own thing. We know we are there. You can enjoy. I miss that quiet. It's never quiet. It's too quiet, actually. I think Nate has fallen asleep. It, yeah, then it's been because we are doing this. <laughs> it never is quiet in our house. I miss. I, I'm glad I have children, but I miss the quiet. You miss being able to just pick up and do something without having to make yeah a million years of plans. Do you can you imagine now like when we are going somewhere, we start we start we start getting ready like three to three hours ahead. We and wake up, give them a bag. Yeah, and look at the, the bags, milk, the, the diapers, the, diapers the, the wet wipes, yeah, snacks. Yeah. Oh, I miss. Being do able, we have enough jackets yeah i miss being able to just put myself together remember how i used to put myself together you used to you know but now do i even have time for that and that's the, see some of the things i miss about like i wish i had we had that here in the u.s is being able to afford a living nanny or just afford a nanny or not or just afford help because it's too US. expensive here 
so i feel like we like seriously if you ever had told me when i was in kenya that i'll be the one raising my children without help <laughs> i would have told you no now i would have said you're crazy before i moved here i used to have people come wash my clothes and it's just me now daddy washes clothes and hangs them up <laughs> that's not what we're saying every week daddy's the one that does her clothes but mommy do cooking mommy by the time you're doing that i have other daddy things cooks too. it's true but he that's his strength that's that that is his strength people he's putting me he's putting me online here <laughs> he's, he's, He's doing this to me, but I'm the one that throws share. the meals together that she doesn't expect. Mm -hmm. I'll come home. I've got meal taken care of. Yeah. What? Yeah, I've dinner's taken care of. Mm -hmm. I've got it. It's cooking or it's cooked or you're burning it because you're running late. And that's why I love you. Daddy takes care of the surprise meals. He's a caretaker. Like, do, by the way, I was thinking about this thing. Sometimes I think about things when I'm driving and I'm like, you know, when you think, what? sometimes something something would just be talked about for example you know the tmi podcast the people i always the ladies i always watch they would talk about something and i'll think about it i'm like um for example them asking uh lab languages and i'm thinking right away I would, uh, the first thing that i think about when i think about you you're a you're a caretaker you take that's your love language you take care of people by the way that was my determiner the way i saw you and kira Kira is that he used to have a cat. The way you took care of her, like seriously, that was like, okay, wow, well, if he can take this good care of a cat, what about his own children? That really went through my mind. She was a little person too. Yeah. Yeah. She was a little person too. She had her own furniture, she had her own toys. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy is a pet person. I am not. And Nate is becoming a pet person. Nate likes kitty cats. Still afraid of dogs, but he'll pet a cat. Yeah. So. Dave's not sure yet. Yeah. We did well. So things I miss about being single. Mm -hmm. I could get a side job and work mm -hmm. until 4 a.m. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have to worry about the need to run home to find out if the family's okay mm. who missed me mm. who broke what mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what that wet spot on the floor is yeah i didn't have to panic about i did a side job but i made good money mm. my actual job you know what i'm just gonna call in today it's not a big deal mm. That paycheck will be short by a couple hundred bucks. This paycheck is over by a couple hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. It evens out, and you can't. Right now, we can't, can't do that. You right have to. Right now, we can't. We have been. We struggle a lot because even of it's daycare and stuff like that. Oh my goodness! Life changes. Yeah, just life changes. Life really changes. I feel like we need to do a, a, another one. I feel like there's so many things that we need to talk about. Okay, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. what are two truths and a lie? about you so i tell you two truths oh, yeah two truths and a lie and i'll tell you which one's the lie this is the last one this, this is, is the, the last, last one week. okay and this guy is putting me on spot i really didn't expect him to go all in okay i see why because you have had four years to prepare to come on this channel two truths two truths and a lie i have i have acted You're not supposed to shake your head. A two truths and a lie. I'm going to tell you which one's a lie. Okay. I'm, I'm changing now. Okay. I've worked in Dubai. I am the last one in the family. I don't like swimming. The last one was a lie. Yeah. She doesn't swim well, but she likes swimming. Yes. Okay. That was too easy. Yeah, because you're just throwing me out there. like uh -huh. Surprise. Yeah. Two truths and a lie. So let's see. Mm -hmm. As a younger person, I smoked a lot. Oh, never ever. <laughs> Dang, never in my life. Never ever. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. um, I'm not 
you would think because he came up with the question, he would have thought about it. Now they gotta be, they can't be the simple ones I had. Now okay. I have to think of something difficult. Mm -hmm. I got into a car, a really bad car wreck, and ended up in a hospital. Yes, you did. More than once. I hate carnivals. Those are three now. That's three. So you don't hate carnivals? No, I actually do hate carnivals. Yeah? But not for the reason you think. Because they're normally too crowded. Yeah. You can't get to do the things that you're there to do because yeah. you're standing in line. Mm, yeah. So I like Disney's new option where they do the express pass. You get that little bracelet and you go mm -hmm. boop and you get to go ahead of everybody. Yeah, yeah. That's why I hate carnivals. Because you go, you want to ride that ride. You want to see yeah. that mm -hmm. exhibit. You want to mm -hmm. walk through and get that strawberry shortcake. Mm -hmm. um, that's for Plant City folks. Yeah, um, Plant City is his village. My, my hometown, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that was worldwide, world-renowned strawberry shortcake there. That's their strawberry festival. They worship the strawberry mm -hmm. once a year. But you want to do these things. Mm -hmm. But when you go, it's so crowded that you're going to do one of those things. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to spend your time looking at the lines. And you spend no the way, whole day. Like, there's no yeah. way I'm standing that line. Yeah, true. Yeah, he has, he, like, okay, first of all, he said he smoked a lot. This man does not drink. <laughs> eh, he doesn't drink, but he buys me the alcohol. He doesn't drink. But that, I think that. People in the store think I'm an alcoholic. People think you're an alcoholic. <laughs> no, he never ever, he never been a person to drink. He never been a person involved with any, anything. He's so, he thinks he's home. His body is a temple he's of God. Like square. Yeah. I'm a square. I he's don't just do like drugs. The I body, don't drink. I my don't body, smoke. My body is the temple of God. Okay. That's great. Good for you. But me, JJ, I want a glass of wine. And thank you for always. But I like it because when we go out, I can drink without worrying like who's driving because he's there to drive me. Who's thank you. Clean the blue carpet up. <sighs> that one time we went out. I went out. So when I, when we moved away from, we came here. My colleagues at work. He just had to bring that up. My colleagues at work decided to do a bye bye party for me, and we did shots. I don't do well with shots. Like let me tell you. Blue, I remember, I don't even remember what it was, but I took a couple of them. You know, I was okay until Sasa Nikatoka Kwagari goes back to the house and I saw the light. When I saw the light in the house, I started throwing up and I threw up the whole night. He spent the whole night cleaning the carpet. That's the whole story behind that. And that was in 2017. Blue out of carpet, yeah. And with that, I think that is going to be our final. Well, I was going to say the two car wrecks are true. Yeah, I know the one in uh, New York. The one in New York where I had to learn to walk again. Yeah. The second one in Florida where they hit me the day before my birthday, and I hit the lady in and a Hummer hit me. Yes, yeah. yeah and yeah. I had to go to the hospital because I pulled a groin muscle, which was in my thigh. Oh, all right. There we go. You guys get to meet Mr. Robin Wagner, Baba Nate, the cameraman. The cameraman, <laughs> and maybe from time to time, y'all will be seeing him. Thank you so much for coming. It was fun. It was fun. Surprise! Actually. Yeah. It was not what you expected. No, that wasn't what. Cause he's always like, no, I don't want to be in front of the camera. I'm, I'm gonna be in the back of the camera. So, I didn't expect him to do that well. I'm I always... not used to being filmed unless I'm in a costume and I'm pretty much hidden. Oh yeah, when he used to do the. When I used to do my to costume walk. work. We have to walk on the stilts. All right, guys, for this episode, that's what we had. I know I had mentioned about um, a giveaway. I am um, intended to do a giveaway because we hit a thousand dollars. I mean, a thousand. I always think about money. Jesus Christ, a thousand subscribers, <laughs> a thousand subscribers on YouTube. So I intend to gift five people. No, three people. Three people. And um, for you to qualify, you have to what are you gonna watch. Give them? I was about to say that. Just I was gonna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kiss me in the head. No, no, no. I intend to give them uh, three thousand five hundred Kenya shillings each. So I intend to give three thousand five hundred Kenya shillings to each person, three people. All you need to do is 
make sure you you have subscribed to this channel you've watched the video, this video to the end and tell me the reason why you think you should win this so what i'm gonna do the reasons whatever you're gonna say here i am going to post them on my instagram and i'm gonna have the people on instagram help me decide who deserves the money more so i'm sure if you have watched this far you will be one of the winners so i'm wishing you guys all the best and here is dave he just woke up and i guess we are about to say bye until next video dave say bye